Hi and how are you? My name is Mohino Barak and in today's video I'm going to show you how we can connect our Android application with localhost using retrofit library. That's what you're going to do today. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So in the very first place, I'll simply come to my project and uh, you know we've been working with this project before, okay? We were working with this project. And if you're not you did not follow in the previous video, please I recommend you to go and follow so you can be on the same point with us so i'm going to add here another what another button that is going to that is going to work with the connecting localhost so i'll just simply duplicate this button and put the word connect with localhost you know localhost is uh, connecting it with the our local PHP file so in the in, I mean our local PHP uh, project so it means that uh, to work with this project at least we should be knowing basics of web uh, if you don't know basics of web then I really really recommend you to first go and learn web and that was uh, this video is made for people who already know basics of uh, web programming so we're going to connect this project to the what with the local host so i'm going to click here i'm going to change here and write the word open localhost okay open con open connect localhost anything open localhost local host okay so after doing that i'll press alt and enter to do what to create this method in that main activity so this is the method and uh, here i'm going to copy this and paste it here but the difference is I need to create uh, that activity for the what for the law that will allow us to connect the local host okay so I, I just want to go to separate concerns that what I'm that's why I'm doing that so I simply right click here and say new and uh, come and say activity and say empty activity and I'll come here and say um, instead of saying main activity I'll come here and change this one to local host I'll say connect with local host connect with local host that is um that activity for just that will work for connecting with local host then i click on finish and uh, the activity will be done okay so here i'm going to also do like the way i did in the previous i mean the previous text view i'm going to just simply come and uh, copy this text view and add it here in this project of i mean this uh, layout of uh, the second localhost for the localhost but the thing here i'm going to change this one to what to maybe uh, to linear layout linear layout i mean sorry not a scroll view nested scroll view let me change it to nested scroll view and i'm going to change this one to linear layout okay linear sorry linear layout match parent and height wrap content okay so let's put this one text in this linear layout and you put orientation orientation vertical and then you can put it just some simple text okay um, maybe you can say original original text okay so that's the original text so we are going now to we'll be using this to just dump there our data and see if there's something that has come so after doing that then it means that we've finished setting up so i'll have to come to main activity and change this one uh, to connect with localhost activity so that if someone clicks here it should connect the localhost activity so after doing that then let's go ahead and uh, do the logic of connecting with the localhost activity uh, what I'll do, uh, it is just like the way we did in the with the, with the main connection when you're connecting to internet, but you'll see the difference, okay? So I'll have to open here up to int from the introduction here, and I'm going to copy this method for getting data, okay? Get online data. So I'll copy this method and come and paste it in what? In connect with localhost here. In connect with localhost here. So I'll copy here and put it here. So here I can change it maybe to get localhost data okay local host data okay so after putting connect to the localhost data then i'll have to call it right i'll have to call it here 
so i'll call it con here immediately after the on create i'll call the method uh -huh. so here instead of putting locals i mean instead of putting eugene 24 we'll change this one put our local host so i have to create this variable and initialize it of course so it will be text view and initialize it here before the immediately after the there's the equal to find you by id r dot id dot text view so that's it okay that's it now here instead of uh, putting this okay so you can do the procedures right uh here i put the lower the, the, the what the letter of it and then here i put the interface and then you put the what the getting the plain text and then here put the we set the text to be loading and then uh, here we listen to the call and if it is success to call this one and if it fail it will call this one okay there are the two steps that we do that uh, that we do okay so this is when it fails and this is when it succeeds okay here on top is when it it succeeds so with that now i said now let's go ahead and change this one to a local host link okay but before we set to a local host link then it means that you have to know basics of local host so i'm going to start my local host server and i'm using zamp so this is my zamp and i've already started it you know what it meant by zamp if you don't know what's meant by zamp please make some research okay <laughs> so i'm going to start my zamp and my sql and they should be working properly okay everything is beautiful so after starting it i'm going to create a simple project that we're going to work it so i'll click on explorer to go to the local host and click on htdocs to open my htdocs file so i'm going to put here a simple project and i'm going to call it maybe retrofit retrofit okay so this is my project retrofit and i'm going to put here maybe my index file just for sampling so i'll say new and come and say uh, empty file and i'm going to select everything and make it maybe index dot php you know what it's meant okay so that is all just plain 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 file of index dot php so i'm going to open this plain file and try to write there some stuff okay maybe let me put there some lorem okay okay let me put there just uh, this is index file this is index file from local host so now this text comes from the here okay so i'll save and then i'm going to first test in the browser and make sure it is working in the browser then i'll go to what or to our um, project and try to fetch it using our project in the android so i'll come to a browser so what i'm trying to do here i'm just trying to show you how you can connect your web project with the what with the android application okay so i'll come here to the browser and come to localhost of course stroke retrofit and stroke index.php okay as you can see my project is working this is index file from localhost okay so it, i mean that it is working perfectly my localhost so at this point you should make sure that uh, you can reach at this point okay so after doing that i'm going to now put this link in a what in our project okay so our android application should access this one so I'll simply come to our project which is here and i'm going to change this one to here in this link i'm going to change it to what to a local host link because in the same computer and we assume that is everything is connected in the same so i'll put there my domain my base url i can just put this one as the base url and then i leave this one as what as local so i'm going to try to access this data and uh, put it in a what in a text view so let's go ahead and run the project and see what will happen when you open this open with the localhost activity we we'll expect what you saw in the browser this plain text also to appear in the what in under the project so let's run the project and we see so here's our project so I simply click on connect with localhost see there's an error see it cannot work they say failed communication test so there's a security 
for Android and the reason is nothing, okay? The security for Android, so this has been executed. So it failed, okay? It failed because of this reason, okay? So there are some few things that you have to set for this application to connect the local host. First of all, you don't connect the local host directly. First of all, you have to know your IP for Android local host, I mean for your Android that it uses. So the IP that Android uses on the local machine is here. Most of time, most of time is this one, okay? So most of time it is this one. So I'll have to remove all this, the word local host and replace it with this, okay? Or I can replace it with um, this, okay? 10.2.2.2 and then the name of your project. Even let us test it with the Google Chrome in the Google Chrome of the Android uh, emulator and make sure that it is working before even you proceed. So I'll come here and go to our emulator and uh, I was testing it before but let me first test and make sure that it is working. So it should come and if you put here, you should put here, just long press and paste. If you put here, this, 10.0.2.2, at least it should show you the dashboard of your project, okay? Of, I mean of, uh, of um, how do you call it? Of ZAMP, it should show you the dashboard, okay? It's a bit slow, I don't know why. Oh, it is 8080, sorry. It is 8080. Here it is 8080. So I have to add 8080, okay? So at least it should show you this, okay? It should show you this. You see? It should show you that your project has connected. So if I come here and edit this and put, for example, you know, our project, I mean, the project, the simple project that we did was what? Was, uh, let me delete this. Was retro fit stroke what stroke index dot php so even here it should open okay can you see it is opening there but uh, just because you cannot see but it is opening it is opening so it means that uh, we have some things to how to set first in order our project to, to work okay we have some things to set first in order our project to work Okay, so let us go ahead and set those stuff and then uh, we make sure that we can access even this page in our heart, in our project. But if you come to a project, is it? You see what it shows, okay? So there are some things that you have to set for sure, okay? Even if we put this, still it will not work. Okay, so the first thing that you have to set, you have to set um, a security file that uh, will provide Android Studio. I mean, our, our project to say that, um, I mean, to know that this is a secure uh, file to access, okay? So to do that, we simply come to our resource file, here resource file, and we add another pro uh, we add another folder called XML file. I mean, we add another folder, just right click here. Right click on resource, new folder, okay? New, new directory, no, sorry, new directory, which is the same as folder. So in this directory, we just put maybe XML. So that is the directory that we've created. And this XML file and under the resource, we are going to add another file. And we can give it any name. But for me, I'm going to call it uh, network config, network security config.php. Right click on it, new XML file. So I'm going to make it network underscore security underscore config.xml. Like that. Dot XML, not dot PHP, dot XML. So after doing that, we paste this piece of code, okay? We just paste this piece of code. This piece of code. I hope you can pause the video and you look at it. Can you see? Network security config and then say config dot clear text file. And then you put here include domains and in these domains you put the domains that you do yet that you allow your application to access without creating any warning. Okay? So you put here the domain. So for example the domain if your local host is uh, for Android Studio, it is uh that that's what you put then okay so mine is 10.0.2.2 which is most common for every android studio but it has, if it is a has some change then you have to find out and it's what you put here so what i'm doing here i'm trying to tell my project that it should not be worried of this domain it should allow it to what to work with them with my project so after doing that we go ahead and add these following lines in what 
in our Android manifest file. So we're going to go in our Android manifest file uh, in the application tag and add this line to say that it is having the security file. So I'll come here to Android manifest file and come here in the tag within the tag in the application tag. Let me show you here in the tag inside the tag, not outside. Put Android network security config and then reference this file that you did what that you did create. Okay. You add also this line that Android uses clear text traffic and then set it to true. Android uses clear text traffic and you should set it also to true as you can see here. And then lastly, use this one tools replace Android text size tools replace tools replace then press alt and enter here if it does not resolve um, to replace use clear text traffic this one okay use this one also okay so after doing like that then uh, hopefully our project will be ready to execute uh, or to connect to the link of a local host so i click there to run the project again so it's done with compiling so i click on connect to the local host can you see beautiful this is index file from localhost. So it means that even if you come here and we write some PHP file and do some echo, this is this is Mohindo. Okay, so save. So after saving, come here and go back and open again. Can you see? This is Mohindo. That is coming from where? From localhost. So that's how we connect our Android project with a localhost. And uh, that is a very great thing. So we are going to get started straight away from here. We are going to look at uh, how we can write the structure data and connect our Android projects with uh, our Android, I mean our web projects so that they can work together. So I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, please remember to like the video and share it on your platforms as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Let us meet in the next video. We are going to go deeper in uh, Android retrofit. Thank you for watching.